guys, hello, hello, hello. Today we're going to do a quick video and this is going to be an intro to a few videos that I plan on doing a series for you guys. When I did my thank you giveaway, um, I asked you guys what you wanted to see more of. A lot of you said you wanted to see like super simple DIY tutorials and you know kind of like an intro to sewing and beginners information and things like that and then also when I ask you guys questions for my get to know me tag part two which I do plan on doing very soon um, a lot of your questions were about sewing and you know how did I get started how do you get started sewing machines what do you need supplies fabric all sorts of things so I'm going to try to put together a series for you guys I'm gonna call this intro to sewing no, no, we'll call it Sewing 101. We'll call it Sewing 101 and I'll do different videos as far as threading your machine, threading your bobbin, what fabrics to use, tension settings, all sorts of things that hopefully you guys will find helpful. Um, they might be a little bit fun, a little bit corny, a little bit exciting at moments because that's just me and I think sewing should be fun. I know sometimes it can be kind of intimidating with different machines, particularly the serger, which you see behind me on my right here can be a little bit intimidating, but there's no reason that you can't have fun with this. There's no reason that you shouldn't be able to enjoy yourself. So I'm going to jump right in to this video. So starting with the number one question that I get most often and that you guys ask me most often is what type of sewing machine do I recommend? It's going to depend on a few different things depending upon your budget, how much you can afford to spend on a sewing machine, what you're going to be using your sewing machine for. Are you just using this as a hobby and you're going to be making things for yourself and maybe a few others? Are you planning on starting a business and you need like a commercial machine that you can get a lot done with? Are you going to be sewing with a lot of stretch fabrics? There's all sorts of things that can kind of, you know, help you decide what type of sewing machine to use. What I usually suggest is starting off with a basic automatic machine, which is what I started with, so that's why I suggest it. My machine was gifted to me. It's a Brother XL2600i, and I love it. It's a basic machine. It's what you guys see me using in all of my tutorials. It has about 25 stitches to it. It's not complicated. I think it's an easy machine to learn on. I've looked up the prices on it at various places and it seems to be a pretty affordable machine as well. So I think it's good to start with to see if you're really even interested in sewing that much. If it's something that you want to put a lot of time into, maybe you're gonna start sewing and you find out, eh, you know, I don't really like it that much. So you don't wanna spend a lot of money and invest in something that you may not necessarily use. It has a lot of features. It did come with the little accessories with it. So you're gonna get some <clears throat> Sorry guys, so you're going to get some needles and like a little screwdriver, you're going to get different presser feet and all sorts of little things that will kind of help you do some different techniques and things with your sewing machine. Now, the other option you can get is a computerized machine. I don't have one myself. I do plan on upgrading to a computerized machine. There's just a lot of different features um, that I think I will enjoy. But again, it depends on your budget and what you're looking for. If you're going to be sewing a lot of buttons, I definitely recommend a computerized machine because for the button foot, you just put your button in there. It does all the hard work for you, easy peasy, quick and easy. And there's nothing better than that. So again, it just depends on what you're looking for, how much you're looking to spend. Now, as far as what company to go with, there are a variety of companies for you to choose. It depends also sometimes on where you're located. Like if you're here in the States, maybe you're, you know, I don't know, in the UK or, you know, diff different machines are going to be readily available to you. Like I know here you can go to Walmart and pick up a Brother or a Singer machine super easy. There's other brands like Janome and things like that that you can purchase online. I don't necessarily recommend purchasing a machine from Joann's or something like that unless they have a really good sale. Uh, you guys know I'm all about finding a good sale. So I would suggest looking online, sometimes even like eBay or Amazon or sometimes the companies who make the machines will have refurbished machines and things like that. So just kind of look around Google. Google's going to be like your number one friend in trying to search and figure out, you know, which machine is going to be best for you based on your needs. The next question that I get often is how did I start sewing and where do you even begin? So I started sewing on maternity leave. While I was on maternity leave, I wanted to start making things for my little girl. Mashallah, she's gorgeous, amazing, smart, like I love her to pieces and she's gonna be three next month. Like this is crazy, like where did the time go? Anyways, that's a whole entire other video, but I started sewing so that I could make things for her. 
I'm just kind of played around a little bit here and there. Then maybe about like a year or so into it, I really got serious about it, really found that I started to enjoy sewing. I almost find it kind of therapeutic, like I can be sewing for hours if I have an opportunity and not even realize how much time has gone by. So I really, really enjoyed it. I enjoy making my own patterns and things like that. So that's another option for you, but I'll get to that in just a second. So that's how I started sewing. And my way might be a little bit unorthodox because what I did was I would just look at clothing and things that I liked. Like if I saw something in children's clothing that I liked, a romper or something like that, if I saw it online, then I would just make it. Now, that means that I had to learn through a lot of trial and error because I was not using patterns. I was making my own patterns and just kind of seeing what I liked in different clothing and saying, okay, I would like to do this here and do that there. So I just really kind of, in my mind, took apart clothing and actually literally took apart some pieces of clothing so I could see how they were put together so that I could then draft my patterns and put them back together. So now you're wondering, okay, like, where do I start? What do I do? Because somehow you stumbled upon this video, which means you're interested in sewing. Maybe you've never touched a sewing machine before a day in your life, like me. Uh, maybe you have family members who have sewed and, you know, they've inspired you to start sewing, which I think is great. I think it's really great that sewing has kind of come back around, you know, like when I was younger, I always thought sewing was something that like grandmas did and stuff like that. And now I think it's great that everyone from, you know, 13 and sometimes even younger all the way up is sewing and I think that's great because there's nothing better and there's nothing more satisfying than being able to make your own clothing make it the way that you want and then someone gives you a compliment on it like okay I did that you know what I mean like oh I made this you know it's, it's, it's a great feeling when you've done that or at least that's how I feel maybe you know you're trying to figure out how do I start sewing? What do I do? Maybe you've been watching some of my tutorials here on my channel at Nadira037 um, and you're watching these videos and you're sitting there and you're thinking to yourself, you know, hey, I can do that because you can. Don't be intimidated by it. Sewing is fun. Sewing can be easy. And once you get the basics down, you can start sewing all sorts of things. You can start making your own designs. You can start using all the different patterns. That's another thing for patterns. Um, I would suggest starting off with some of like the easy sew patterns the things that are pretty basic. And then you can work your way up to more advanced things. If you try to go like super advanced in the beginning and work with a pattern that's too difficult, you may end up getting discouraged. And there's no reason for that to happen. So start at your sewing level. Start with basic basic tutorials, um, maxi skirts I find are super, super easy. Almost any kind of skirt I think is really, really easy to do. Pencil skirts, maxi skirts, skater skirts, anything like that. Circle skirts I think are going to be easy to do. I have a wide leg pants tutorial. I think that's super easy and a great tutorial for beginners and really cute. You end up with a really cute pair of wide leg pants. I do have part two of that coming soon, so make sure you guys subscribe if you want to see the version with the waistband and the zipper and all that good stuff. Some other suggestions for you guys. Read your manuals. I know it's boring and doesn't seem interesting at all, but I've learned so much since I am self-taught from my manual is just reading different tips and figuring out what this part is and you know what other parts are, how to set my tension. The sewing machine that I was gifted came with the manual for the serger that I was gifted. It did not come with the manual, so I had to look that manual up online, but there was a great trick in there on how to thread your machine without having to go through the whole entire process again. So read your manuals. There's lots of great information that you can find there. Another thing that I suggest is joining social sewing groups and things like that. I have a group myself on Facebook, which is Nadira Zero. No, it's made by me, Nadira Zero Three Seven. I'll have the link for you guys down below to join that group. It is a ladies only group, so sorry guys if you're watching this video, that group's not for you. But there are plenty of groups on Facebook and online that you can join to get sewing tips, help, advice, and inspiration, you know, from other things that people have sewn and sharing their posts and ideas or if you have questions and things like that because sometimes I'm not able to answer your questions quick enough so maybe you can post it in the group and somebody else may be able to give you guys an answer for that so I would definitely, su definitely suggest joining a sewing group online. Hope that this video has been helpful for you guys. Definitely make sure that you check out my sewing and DIY tutorials and be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you guys don't miss out on any more of the videos in this Sewing 101 series. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave any comments or questions down below for 
suggestions and things that you want to see in this sewing 101 series. Anything related to sewing you guys have questions about, leave them down below. And I have a new email address for you guys. If you want to get in touch with me or you have questions, you can email me at nadira037info at gmail.com and I will be sure to respond to you. It may take me a while, but I promise I will respond to you. But yeah, that'll be it guys. Um, new videos, new tutorials coming very, very soon. And thank you guys so much for watching. And um, remember, if I can do it, so can you. Assalamu alaikum. Peace. What I usually suggest, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat>